right folks West Penny here uh, just gonna be doing a video on my uh, stonefly nymph and uh, to start with I'll be using a fire hole 316 in a size 8 the beads are um, they say a, br a metallic brown bead um, these specific ones I'm using are from Togans That's their brown magic, and it's a three eight or three sixteenths, four point eight millimeter, and I'm also using a seven sixty fourths bead as well. Um, I'm using Techstream Power Thread. It's the small size in white, and Techstream Body Fly in yellow. Some Sculpin olive wire, small size. Dubbing is going to be um, Fly Fish Food uh, Bruiser Blend Butter Belly. And a couple of resins is the Gulf Dirty Motor Oil and Gulf Thin Man. Um, one of the things I do with with the two beads, there's a couple of reasons for it. Um, one is obviously just the extra weight. But if you put the small bead on first, and then put the larger bead on um, with the countersunk hole towards the small bead, they kind of, you know, fit right into each other. So it gives it more of a kind of a tapered profile to the head, rather than one big bead. And also, with the smaller hole at the back, there's less of a gap that you have to fill um with thread or whatever else so we'll start your thread <coughs> excuse me right behind the bead and we're going to wrap down the uh, shank of the hook um, the video perspective you're getting is from the top down and i'm going to change the position of the hook so i can tie right on top and right where i stop here i'm going to end up building a bit of a thread bump and this is to keep the little tails pieces apart and also give me a bit of a hot spot that I can I can color and I'll do that right now with a fluorescent orange sharpie okay so I use a bit of Uniflex for this little tail legs. I don't know what you call them antenna tail um, And I take the length of stretch flex and I split it in half with the bodkin So it's not as thick as what the legs are going to be And I'm just going to tie in on either side Go to the other side. Kind of position them where you want. And then just trim them to size. And we'll go all the way back up. Put the hook back where it's supposed to be and then we'll tie in a length of sculpin olive wire Gonna build a bit of a profile with the thread. I'm just 
going to use a kind of a rusty yellow kind of color and color the thread just makes it easier to cover with the body fly which we'll tie in next so material that would be similar to body fly is beavis body quill now you could use thread you could use flash you could use whatever you wanted on this you could even just use thread yellow thread and you know or white and color it it really doesn't matter uh, just to get that yellowish tinge to the body i like the body fly because it's got a nice sheen to it so we're going to take it and uh, just work our way down so it'll create a bit more of the profile as we cover the whole body okay and then we'll just wrap that off Now I'm going to put a little bit of Gulf Thin Man on the very top of the fly. And I do this because I'm going to be doing some resin segments on it. And I want the top to be nice and smooth. So the resin kind of flows really nicely on it. And I'm going to put a little bit on the orange spot down here as well sealed in I'll just cure the resin Okay, and then we'll wrap the wrap the wire. Okay, so the wire's on, we've created some segments, and I'm going to use some of the dirty motor oil resin. And basically I'm going to be putting a very small dab, it's really not much bigger than a pinhead. And it's going to, going to go against, right against the wire. I'm just going to dab it on the back, and then just bring it down the sides. And this gives me some raised segments. Okay, that should be pretty good. And we'll give that a cure. Okay. 
So we'll go back to our thread and I'm just gonna jump back a couple of segments, right about there. And we'll tie in the legs. Secure them with a few wraps and then just bring the thread back up. Take my Sharpie or my marker. I'm just going to color those thread wraps. And then we'll go back to the clear Thin Man resin. And we're just going to put some resin over top of those thread wraps. And that'll secure them right in and uh, prevent them from kind of falling apart. And then I'll also put some resin on the underside. all that and the last step is just to add a bit of dubbing and again you can do this However, you prefer to do dubbing. I like a split thread dubbing. Um, a bit of wax. Pull the legs back a bit. I'm just going to rub some dubbing up against the bead. And whip finish and tie it off. There's lots of room behind that bead still, so I do a couple of whip finishes just to make sure nothing comes apart. There you have it. That's uh, what I call the Mick Jagger Stonefly. I call it that because it's a skinny stone with a big head. So you can see uh, this segmentation is raised a bit there. Gives it a different color of the body. My tail's a little off on this one, but I don't think the fish will care. There you go. Mick Jagger Stonefly, thanks for watching.